are going to discuss understanding Newton's first law of motion. Unknowingly, we are actually encountering the Newton's first law of motion in our daily life. So, before we proceed, I am Teacher Alice. I am your teacher in Science 11. And you are watching DevEd MP TV. Now, be ready with your paper, pen, and your self-learning module. At the end of this discussion, you should be able to first, state the Newton's first law of motion, second, define what is inertia, third, recognize the relationship of mass and inertia, fourth, explain the subtle distinction between Newton's first law of motion and Galileo's assertion of force is not necessary to sustain our horizontal motion, and fifth, Apply Newton's first law to understand the effect of applying a force on an object. But before we move further, let us check what you already know about our topic. Please turn the page of your self-learning module on page 1. So let's start! Okay, so let's start. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. 1. A force is defined as A. A push only B. A pull only C. A push or a pull D. None of the above Number 2. What unit do scientists use to measure force? Letter A. Newton B. Grams C. Meters D. Meter per second Number 3. When you slide a toy car across the floor, what force must your push be stronger than? Letter A. Support force Letter B. Friction force Letter C. Gravity And Letter D. Air resistance Number 4. A piece of paper is at rest on your desk. Which of the following statements best describes this situation? A. There are no forces acting on the paper. B. The paper pushes on the desk only. C. The desk pushes on the paper only. D. The forces acting on the paper are balanced. Number 5. Which force always pulls downward on object? Letter A. Support force. Letter B. Friction force. Letter C. Gravity Letter D Air resistance Continue answering until number 15 Okay, so let's time to check your answers Number 1 Letter A Number 2 Letter A Number 3 Letter B Number 4 Letter D Number 5 Letter C Number 6 B Number 7 B Number 8 Letter A Number 9, letter C Number 10, letter A Number 11, letter C Number 12, D Number 13, A Number 14, C And number 15, C To get started, you have to choose the terms related to motion from the word pull List down these words on the table and write what you know about it Kindly you turn your self-learning module on page 5 Let's see what you have written. Here are the words related to motion. Number one, mass. Number two, force. Number three, newton. Number four, gravity. Number five, friction. Number six, velocity. Did you get all the words? Wow, very good. For those who did not get the words, it's all right. This is a bowling game. A heavy ball is rolled down a narrow lane, aiming the pins. What makes the ball keep rolling? What makes the pin fall in different directions? See yourself learning module on page 6. 
So, we're going to answer these guide questions. Number one, what keeps an object at rest and what keeps it moving? Number two, what caused the object change in motion? Number three, how does an object's mass affect its inertia? Okay, class, we can be able to answer the questions as we go along with our discussion. But I'll invite you to see on Sir Isaac Newton, a 17th century scientist, formulated laws explaining why objects are moving and why they do not move. It has been known as Newton's three laws of motion. The focus of this lesson is Newton's first law, which is also referred as the law of inertia. Okay, so let's discuss. Lend me know your ears. Okay, class, listen carefully. This is Galileo Galilei. 1564 to 1642 had developed the first concept of laws of motion according to galileo objects in motion eventually stop because of force called friction what is this friction it is a force that opposes motion between any surfaces that are touching this is based on his experiment observed in inclined planes he said that the difference between initial and the final heights was due to the presence of friction. Galileo hypothesized that if friction could be entirely eliminated, the ball would reach exactly the same height. Or if the ball rolls horizontally and there's no friction that acts on it. This is Isaac Newton, 1642 to 1727. Isaac Newton was born the same year Galileo died. Newton's law of inertia is based on Galileo's work and came up with his three laws of motion. Newton's first law states that an object at rest stays at rest in an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Okay? So, we will discuss what is mass and inertia. An object's inertia depends on its mass. What is this mass? It is the amount of matter or substance that makes up an object. It is measured in units called kilogram. An object with a greater mass has a greater inertia. And an object with a lesser mass will also have a lesser inertia. Objects' tendency to resist change in its motion depends on its mass. This is a wooden box in a styrofoam box. Which do you think has a greater mass? Lesser? Which has a greater inertia? Correct! It is the wooden box. The wooden box has a greater mass. Therefore, it has a greater inertia. Come on! Let us explore inertia. Inertia has three types. Number one, Inertia of rest. An object will stay in place unless something or somebody moves it. Example, a plate on the table. Number two, inertia of motion. An object will continue at the same speed until a force acts on it. Example, a rolling ball. Number three, inertia of direction. An object will stay moving in the same direction unless a force acts on it. Example, a moving car turning right. By the way, what is forces? What causes an object to move, to stop, or remain at rest? A force causes an object to move, to stop, or remain at rest. So, Force is defined as a push or a pull. Newton is the unit of force. One Newton is the amount of the force required to give one kilogram mass an acceleration of one mass per second per second. Thus, the following unit equivalency can be stated as one Newton is equivalent to one kilogram times mass per second squared. So let's continue. What is friction? In this scenario, 
a rolling marble on the floor that suddenly stops when it reaches rough surfaces does not stop because of the absence of force. It stops because of the presence of a force. So that friction is a force that opposes motion between any surfaces that are touching. Another is friction surfaces have more friction than smooth surfaces. Another is friction produces heat because it causes the molecules on rubbing surfaces to move faster and have more energy. Therefore, Newton's first law of motion has always stated that an object at rest stays at rest. And an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Let us discover balance in unbalanced forces. A balanced force is a force in which the net force is equal to zero. What is a net force? A net force is the total combination of forces in opposite direction or the same direction acting on an object. Let's consider the free body diagram of a flower vase on the table. There are two forces acting on the flower vase. The force of the table pushing the flower vase upward, also called the normal force, and the gravitational force pushing the flower vase downward. The forces on the flower vase are balanced. Since the two forces are equal and in opposite directions, they balance each other. The net force is zero. It means the flower vase is at its equilibrium. There is no unbalanced force acting on it, thus it remains at rest. What is an unbalanced force? An unbalanced force is a force in which the net force is greater than zero. So let us take a look with the picture. The force produced by the right team is greater than the left team by 10 newton, tipping the rope to the right direction. Unbalanced force causes acceleration. Only, unbalanced force can change the motion and direction of an object. Example, your pet dog can move you faster if he pulls you with enough force. Now, let's test your understanding on the different types of inertia. Read and analyze the different situations. Identify the type of inertia. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answer. See page 12 of your self-learning module. So let's get started. Number 1. When pulling a band-aid off, it is better to pull it fast. Your skin will remain at rest due to inertia. And the force pulls the band-aid off. Alright, so let's check. Number 1. Inertia of rest. Number 2. Inertia of motion. Number 3. Inertia of direction. Number 4. Inertia of motion. And number 5. Inertia of direction. Alright, we will see how you understood the lesson. Answer the questions briefly. Again, turn to page 12 of your self-learning module. So, number 1. State Newton's first law of motion, what makes the object remain in state of motion or at rest? Explain why. Number two, explain the difference on Galileo's idea of inertia and Newton's first law of motion. We will see how far did you learn. These are the possible answers. Number one, Newton's first law states that an object at rest stays at rest. And an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed in the same direction unless acted upon an unbalanced force. Number two possible answer is Galileus asserted that if a rolling ball was left alone, it will continue to move with constant velocity. The only difference between Galileo's assertion and Newton's first law of motion is the concept of force. Now that you have understood the law of inertia, 
Create an acrostic poem using the word inertia. Creating a poem, you will share what you have learned or experienced facing the COVID-19 pandemic. Sample of your poem may sound like this. I, in all circumstances, N, never will submit to any pressure. E, ever remaining constant and stable. R, remaining still the same. T, till an unbalanced force acts on it or happens. I, in whatever manner or pattern the force may come from. A, always will change it unless it has less inertia than an unbalanced force. Are you the same with this? Very good! Wow, good job! You're doing it right! So let's answer the post assessment. Read each statement carefully. Write through if the statement is correct and write the correct term if the statement is incorrect. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Turn to page 14 of your self-learning module. Okay, number one. Inertia is the tendency of an object to resist motion. Number 2. Newton's first law of motion is also called the law of acceleration. Number 3. If an object is at rest, inertia will keep it at rest. Number 4. The inertia of an object is determined by its speed. And number 5. The speed of an object changes only when it is acted on by an unbalanced force. Continue answering now for numbers 6 to 15. Evaluate your answer. Number 1, true. Number 2, inertia. Number 3, true. Number 4, mass. Number 5, true. Number 6, friction. Number 7, true. Number 8, true. Number 9, friction. Number 10, true. Number 11, unbalanced force. Number 12, true. Number 13, Galileo Galilei. Number 14, true. Number 15, less friction. Did you get it all? Wow! Who got the correct answers? Wow! Excellent! For those who did not make it, go over with your motion. Let's see if you can recognize inertia when you see or feel it as it occurs every day. List at least five activities you do every day. You might be surprised at how much moment of inertia you have in your life. Turn now your self-learning module to page 15. There are some possible answers. When you shake a branch, the leaves get detached. Number two, you feel a back word force when the bus moves quickly from rest. Well done, learners. We are now done with your motion. Thank you very much.